A study from Statistics Canada shows that in 2008, just over 60% of university graduates with a bachelor's degree and nearly 50% of graduates with a PhD were women. This near equal split didn't always exist, however. In the 1800s and early 1900s, any money for school and a family would go to sons over daughters, resulting in the vast majority of graduates being men. In 1918, the American and British Federations of University Women held a meeting between university women from all five continents to help promote understanding and friendship between university women worldwide. This meeting would lead to the formation of the International Federation of University Women. In order to be a founding member of the international group, the Canadian Federation of University Women was founded in August of 1919, and the International Federation of University Women was finally formed the next year with the hope of strengthening and increasing the usefulness of individual clubs, as well as promoting peace. The Oakville Group was formed another 20 years later in 1949, after the idea was brought up at a get-together of a few university graduate women at the home of future Honorary President Jean Smith. They placed an ad in the local newspapers to invite graduate women to attend the meeting on October 11th, to which about 40 people came. The meeting was held at Victoria Hall, which had a bad reputation, so later the meetings were moved to the houses of members, then to various schools in the later 1900s. It was at this first meeting that the group resolved to form the Oakville branch of the Canadian Federation of University Women, and Beatrice Davies was named the first president with the secretary, Betty Tuff. At this time, the membership fee was $1. The group's main focus, even at the time of formation, was allowing more young women to go to university. Only a few months after the October meeting, their first scholarship was decided, $25 to a girl at Oakville Trafalgar High School for achieving the highest marks in English. Additional scholarships for French and history were soon added, and by 1959, the scholarship fund had raised to $300. The first scholarship fair was held in 1960, which showcased the artistic, musical, and performative talents of members of the community. This fair seemed to be the predecessor of the Oakville University Women's Club annual art shows, which were held from 1963 to 1968. Each show would have different theme and would feature local and international artists. Here too, funds were raised for scholarships. The shows were stopped after the group felt they had accomplished their purpose of giving art a place in the community. As proof of this effect, the Oakville Women's Club donated a sculpture by Almuth Lutkenhaus called The Tibetan Girl to the Oakville Centennial Center in 1967 for the centennial celebration. This sculpture is still on display at the central branch of the Oakville Public Library. Also on display in the library is the yearbook cabinet in the Oakville Room donated in honor of an anniversary. Although the Oakville branch of the CFUW is a local group, they are not limited to only local issues. In the 1950s, the group reached out to support women outside Canada affected by World War II and studied conditions in Japan for the CFUW's triennial. Throughout their various events, they have hosted ambassadors from Egypt and South Africa as well as encouraging a twin organization in Neigawa, Japan, to be formed to strengthen the bond between the twin cities. Outside scholarships, the group is also active on various political issues such as healthcare, pollution, education, and equality. And in the 1990s, they created a resolution on the discrimination against women in universities, which eventually became a national action plan. The club also has a multitude of interest groups. In 1988, there were 32, nine of which were gourmet groups, who historically would show off their talents at the annual art shows. By 1974, the group had a membership of 220, and the fee had grown to $12. Today, that membership fee has grown to $140 to cover dues, and the club is open to any woman who has an inquiring mind whether or not she has a university degree. The CFUW Oakville continues to award scholarships now based on leadership skills, personal qualities, over high marks. For their 70th anniversary, they have awarded a $5,000 scholarship to one student at each high school in Oakville.